Hello and welcome to the News in Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. The Ministry of Interior released a statement concerning the recent developments and the background of what have been circulating lately in social media. A systematic targeting of the Kingdom of Bahrain to harm the public interest and to try to influence the public opinion have been observed through various issues including naturalisation with the aim to harm the distinguished brotherly relations between Bahrain and the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and affect the national economy by spreading false information through a number of fake accounts being managed by the state of Qatar as well as by fugitives and wanted criminals. The Ministry of Interior stated that these accounts are creating tensions and spreading sedition incitement and hatred, as well as attempting to target the internal social fabric and influence the upcoming parliamentary elections by negatively focusing on a number of topics, including the new retirement, with the aim to outreach the public and distort the Bahraini identity. These threats are deliberately aimed towards the Bahraini citizens who have national immunity in the face of such dangers. Throughout history, Bahraini citizens have proven their strength and patriotism and showcased a high level of awareness and determination to thwart all attempts to target social security and stability. Based on its keenness to inform the public about developments related to security and the safety of the community, and as part of its security and legal commitment to maintaining public security and order, the Ministry of Interior, through the General Directorate of Anti-Corruption and Economic and Electronic Security, is following up on the exerted efforts to monitor social media accounts that spread illegal content and affect civil peace and the social fabric. Legal measures have been taken in this regard. The Ministry stressed that freedoms guaranteed by the Constitution, especially the freedom of speech, but it has called for compliance with the provisions of this right, which are stipulated in the laws within the limits of freedom of opinion and speech. This includes obtaining information from official sources and not using social media in disseminating malicious rumours affecting security and civil peace. In this context, the Ministry of Interior calls on everyone to be aware and not spread rumours, particularly in this phase, which calls for intensifying efforts and spreading awareness in order to uphold the supreme interest of the homeland and to emphasise unity, cohesion and the protection of civil peace, as consolidation and the strengthening of the national unity is the responsibility of all. The Ministry of Interior calls upon everyone to assume their responsibilities in order to control the use of social media to reduce its negative effects. It called on all citizens, journalists, media figures and authorities to play a role in raising awareness and protecting society from the danger of these means in order to form a positive and effective public opinion that stands firm in the face of such campaigns in affirmation of adherence to the law and accordance with the Arab customs and traditions of the Bahraini society. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs strongly condemns the adoption of this really knisnet of the so-called Jewish Nation State Bill, which ignores the historical rights of the Palestinian people and constitutes a violation of international law and international norms and charters. The Ministry affirms that this law represents a serious threat and a major obstacle to peace efforts in accordance with the two-state solution, relevant resolutions of international legitimacy and the Arab Peace Initiative. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs stresses the need for the international community to act urgently and effectively to deal with this law and its great implications to the peace process and to protect the right of return of Palestinian refugees. The Ministry of Information Affairs announced that it is continuing to implement its June 13, 2017 decision to suspend the importation of the Be In Sports Channel at the Qatar-based Al Jazeera Network and to suspend the sale and renewal of its subscriptions. The Ministry said in a statement that it recently stepped up its inspection campaigns on all shops that sell receivers and deal with them in accordance with the laws and regulations in force in Bahrain. The campaigns targeted both the receivers of the Qatar-based Al Jazeera network and the encoded receivers that receive broadcasts illegally. The Ministry said that BN Sports are blatantly involved in suspicious cases linked to supporting terrorist and extremist groups and promoting the discourse of sedition, hatred and extremism in the region. The channels were also found mainly during the broadcasting of the FIFA World Cup matches to be involved in campaigns of political distortion against several Arab countries. The Ministry said that it condemned such abuses that reflected a poor mindset within the channels and the adoption of low media standards. It reiterated denouncement of the policy adopted by the BN Sports channels 
that intrudes politics into sports in order to achieve personal gains that clash with the universal goals of sport. The Ministry renewed its call to review the legal position of the BN sports channels in each country, especially after the offensive campaigns they adopted to harm the Arab countries and peoples. The Secretary General of the Supreme Council for Women, the SCW, Hala Alansari, held a working meeting with experts from the Women's Electoral Advocacy Programme, launched recently by the SCW, in partnership with the Bahrain Institute for Political Development, the BIPD. The programme aims to provide consultations in the legal and political fields and in the management of the electoral process. Alansari noted that the programme is one of the main mechanisms adopted by the Council to support women candidates and their teams participating in the parliamentary and municipal elections that are being held in the last quarter of this year. She noted that the programme aims to increase the competitiveness of women in the field of political work. It is also part of the national plan to empower Bahraini women in partnership with the authorities concerned. During the meeting, the stages of the electoral consultation programme for women were agreed upon. The first phase, which started in July, analysed the current situation through the evaluation of experts to nominate candidates and identify the training and advisory needs required. The second phase will start in August until September and will provide political training for candidates at the BIPD. The third phase, which will end in November, will provide various intensified consultations to the candidates. First Deputy Chairman of the Shura Council, Jamal Mohamed Fakhro, led the Bahraini parliamentary delegation participating in the Arab Parliamentary Union's 28th extraordinary session. Fakhro delivered a speech in which he affirmed that the Palestinian cause was and remains the prime cause of the Arab and Islamic nations and to the realisation of the right to establish an independent Palestinian state on the borders of June 4, 1967, with East Jerusalem as its capital. He noted the flagrant violations of the Israeli occupation of all international and Arab initiatives and the peace agreements. He stressed that the law called Israel the national state of the Jewish people, embodies Zionist extremism in the legalization of the practice of apartheid against anyone who is not Jewish, adding that it is a reflection of the crimes against the Palestinian people. He urged to impose sanctions on the Zionist entity to comply with international legitimacy. Fakhra noted that parliaments required to double efforts to consolidate the unity of the Arab nation and maintain the future of its people and return the rights to its owners in Palestine and to protect Arab rights. He called on Arab parliaments to provide necessary international protection for the Palestinian people in light of the current developments. Fakhra stressed the importance of providing assistance and aid to the Palestinian people and encouraging governments and countries to increase the material, food and therapeutic support.